Hi. Monsieur. Did you just notice anything strange? Nothing. I went inside after the priest left. I thought I heard a gunshot, but when I came out there was nobody here. Nobody. Until you arrived. So, you don't know what just happened? What happened, happened, monsieur, whether I know it or not. Hello? What now? Are you certain you didn't see anybody leave the gallery? Only you, monsieur. I needed to get back in the gallery and find out what had happened. Father? You must stick. You must stop them. Who did this, Simeon? Don't let them. The tablet. They are going to raise the devil. Lucifer himself. Those were his last words. First Henri, now Simeon. Who was behind this? And what was Simeon trying to tell me? Father Simeon lay dead. Simeon had been carrying a scan of an old manuscript with a covering note. Both were written in Latin. Fortunately, I hadn't forgot the Latin I'd learned at school. The note read, The tabula veritatis only appears in one file. The Inquisition into Heretical Depravity by Nicholas Emmerich, A.D. 1376. Scan attached. The note was signed by the Vice Prefect of the Vatican Archives. Simeon must have done some digging after he recognized the symbol on Hobbes' sketch. It was a photocopy of an old Latin text. Although a bit rusty, my Latin was still up to the job. It read, and thus spoke the accused. In this ritual we find succor. Clad in blue, the perfecti take the form of the spiritual and look towards the rising sun, toward the tree of knowledge. Clad in green, the credentes look the other way, towards the setting sun, where stands the tree of life. And all shall know that the light of knowledge is blue and that the light of life is green. For thus was the light of Eden, both blue and green, intertwined with the light of man to become pure. Pure light, white light, pure light will win. So it was written in the old texts, affirmed by the tabula veritatis. And these were the accused's last words. It was powerful stuff. I wondered how it connected to La Maledexio. My God, what have you done? Huh? I know this looks like... Like you've been caught red-handed. Excuse me. Josh, something terrible has happened at the apartment. Nico, hang on. Lane, it's not what it looks like. Murdering a priest, Snowbart? Is there no end to your depravity? It's a simple misunderstanding. Look, I need to go. I'll be at Nico's apartment. Nico! In here. Oh, hi, Georges. I thought you were being attacked. When I arrived, there was someone here. He rushed me, knocked me down. Did you get a look at him? No. It happened so quick, and then he was gone. What a mess. This blood. Where's Marquez? I don't know. He must be badly hurt. Or dead. Not another killing. What do you mean? I just came from the gallery. 
Father Simeon's been shot. My God, who did it? I don't know, but before he died, he begged me to stop the Gnostics from raising the devil. The devil? Whoever's doing the killing, Georges, it's certainly not him. Okay, but who? Simeon and Marquez were both attacked at the same time. Just what are we up against? I don't know. But whoever came here was looking for something. The place has been ransacked. I'm going to clean up. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, I'll take a look around. There was still quite a blood stain. I really hoped that Marquez was all right. The chair had been knocked over in the fight. But there was something glinting underneath. It was Marquez's medallion. There'd clearly been a struggle. Marquez must have put up quite a fight. I spotted something in the mess. It was Marquez's family photo. Marquez wouldn't have intentionally left the photo behind. The sofa was a real mess, but there was something between the cushions. It was one of the photographs that Nico had taken during the robbery. It showed a section of La Maledicio. Marquez had written on it. Marquez had circled one of the figures in the tower and identified her as Magdalena. That had to mean Mary Magdalene. Marquez had circled one of the figures and written Judas. I wondered if he was identifying him as Judas Iscariot. Back in Bible class, Judas was definitely one of the bad guys. Marquez had scribbled the word Sans across the photograph. I wonder what he meant. Hey, Jos, you find anything? Marquez's medallion. And one of your photos of the robbery. Marquez scribbled all over it. I think he was trying to work something out in the painting. Simeon must have been right. The painting is some kind of map. We should... Hold on, my phone. Hello, oui? This is Inspector Navin. I am looking for the American, Monsieur Stobart. Are you with him? Yes, he's right here. <gasps> Mon Dieu! Stay calm, madame. Where exactly are you? In my neighbor's apartment. But why do you... Do not worry. I am just moments away. Be very careful. He is armed and highly dangerous. But he seems so charming. Trust me, madame. The leopard never changes his straps. That was Nave. You're in big trouble. Lane saw me with Simeon's body. He set me up for sure. Well, Nave's on his way, and he'll be here any moment. We have to go, Nico, now. Down the back stairs. We'll go through Fleur's shop. Ah, there you are. Right on time. Sorry, Flo, but we can't stop. Suit yourself. Damn it. Sergeant Moo is outside the door. He's talking to someone. Oh, no, it's Adam. Who? My neighbor. Ah, the pug lover with the trashed apartment. That's the one.
Hey, Fleur, great to see you again. You were expecting us? Thirty more seconds and you would have been caught. Charged with the murder of a priest. Whoa. How do you know about that? News travels fast through the ether, George. Take this. What do I do with a ball of yarn? Bribe Moo with a nice Aaron sweater? You will find the way. Now, excuse me. I think it's time you planned your escape. Oh, hi, Adam. Hi, Nico. They say I can't go up to my apartment. Oh, really? I wonder why. Yeah, I wonder why too. Yeah, I'm George, by the way. Adam, I live in the apartment next to Nico. I know. I mean, how interesting. Fleur, can I sit here for a while until the police let me back in? By all means. So what now? You take a look around. I'll see if there's a way to get past Moo. Go ahead, George. Take a few. Thanks. Sorry to bust in on you like this, Fleur. Don't worry, George. I knew you were coming. You did? Uh, so what else do you know? There's a 36% chance of rain. You've known Nico a while. What flowers does she like? Yellow. No, wait. Yes. Yellow, definitely. Do you know Adam? A little. I see great distress in his near future. Funny, so do I. Fleur, can you help me distract that police officer at the front door? Don't you want to play the game yourself? Game? What game? Oh, I thought you knew. Never mind. Look at these beautiful flowers, Fleur. Yes, George. My flowers. But you can have them. I got you some beautiful tulips. That's sweet, George. But I'm not a big fan of yellow flowers. Oh, but Fleur said... Fleur doesn't know everything. Oh, typical. Nico? We're trapped. No way forward, no way back. Luckily, Inspector Nabe is no Sherlock Holmes. But Sergeant Moo is a problem. At the gallery, I just plied him with coffee. His bladder problem did the rest. Ah, that reminds me of my late husband. Pipi Pierre, they called him. I don't suppose you have a coffee machine, Fleur? I'm afraid not. I don't even have a kettle. Let's keep looking. There's always a way. There were boxes stacked along the wall. They were all labeled. Florist's phone. Flower food. Ribbon. Pee pee. Bouquet labels. Pee pee? My curiosity was aroused. It was a plastic statue. Careful with that. It's just come in. Special order. What is it? A replica mannequin piece. Fill it with water, pop in some batteries, and watch it go tinkle. Hmm. Very tasteful.
Adam was listening to an old school portable CD player. Hey there, Adam. Oh, hey, George. What can I do for you? Do you know what's going on with the police? Uh, no, they wouldn't tell me. Good. I, I mean, strange. It's annoying. I'm really tired. It was a long drive. Oh, been anywhere interesting? I've just come back from a coin fair. It was mega. But that's fascinating. So, uh, tell me more about this coin fair. It's Europe's biggest. So much to see. I bet. Do you know Nico well? No, not really. Good. I mean, uh, uh, good for you. What are you listening to? My meditation music. Crashing waves and trickling forest streams. So, what do you think of this coin? Oh my god, that's a platinum 12 ruble! It is? I, I mean, uh, yeah, of course it is. You know, it's gonna be a rough day, Adam. Why don't you keep the coin? Are you serious? I'll get my pal Stefan to value it. His coin shop's just around the corner. Hey, maybe you could use the money to redecorate your apartment. But it doesn't need redecorating. That's a matter of opinion. It was Marquez's medallion. Marquez wouldn't have intentionally left the photo behind. The young Marquez had no idea of the fate that was soon to befall his family. It was Marquez's mother. It was a grand fireplace. The medallion Marquez's father wore looked identical to the one I'd picked up. The statues were quite striking. It was La Maledicio. The statues were quite striking. A cheap plastic imitation of the mannequin piece from Brussels. It took AA batteries and had a water reservoir. The lid wouldn't open while the disc was playing. I stopped the disc. Ocean dreamscapes. Just what I needed with the day I was having. Those might come in handy. I slotted the battery into the mannequin. A jaunty series of LEDs lit up around the figure. I poured the whiskey into the mannequin. Slouch it, wee man. Slouch it. Flirt, do you mind if I change the music? Good idea. The sound of lapping waves was affecting mood, but I was going to need something more to open the floodgates.
I placed the statue in the trolley and switched on the waterworks. The mannequin cheerfully sprayed a stream of golden whiskey. Nice. I gave the trolley a push. Fleur certainly kept her bearings well greased. Okay, that's Moo out of the way. Let's go, Nico. Where? To see Bijou. She's been telling me a crock of lies since day one, and right now, I want the truth. So you're telling me that Bijou and Ops were having an affair? Yeah, so, she's got some explaining to do. Bijou, I need to talk to you. Can't it wait? I have such a sore head. No, it really can't. Oh, all right. In the daylight, and without the fog of incense, the apartment looked even weirder. George, how delightful to see you. May I present my friend Nico? George and I go way back. Oh, really? Well, don't worry, my dear. I won't steal him, though he is rather a cutie. Uh, Bijou, we're here to clear up a few points, if you don't mind. How are you, Bijou? I have the teeniest of headaches, Cherie. It always happens when I sleep in the afternoon. I figured it was the champagne before the nap that had done the damage. I need you to be honest with me, Bijou. Do you know a painter called Hobbes? No, I don't think so. He certainly knows you. So many artists, darling. I can't remember them all. Hobbes appears to know you very well. I saw a sketch of you in his portfolio. Must have been a study for a painting. Are you sure there's nothing else? Quite sure. Did you know that the provenance was fake? For la malediction? I had no idea. Lane said you had him approve it. Silly fool, he's getting confused again. This is a note from Hobbes that I found in your safe. How did you get access to that? How dare you? Bijou, you gave me the keys. I did? Oh, my head. I don't remember. We didn't do anything else, did we, Georges? The note is addressed to you, so Lane was telling the truth. You were in charge of the paperwork. Oh, so what if I was? That's not illegal? The note from Hobbes makes it quite clear that you knew him rather well. Oh, all right, I did. So, you lied to me. So you had the provenance made. You knew it was fake. I'm not admitting anything. I believe this is for you. A diamond ring? What has that to do with me? A gift for you, from Henri. Henri bought me so many expensive things. He never did it to I think Henri asked Madovsky for more money so that he could buy you that ring. And maybe that's the reason he was shot. Nico. No, honey. She's right. Henri always felt he had to fight to keep me. Truth is, I loved them both. Wilf and Henri. 
And now Henri is dead because of me. Go ahead. Ask your questions. I promise I will tell the truth this time. So, you and Hobbes are lovers? We have been ever since 75. Henri never knew about it. They were in a band together back then. So you are unfaithful to Henri right from the start. It was never cheating. I loved them both. So you had Hobbes fake the provenance so that Lane would approve it for the insurance? Wilf passed it to me, and I persuaded Lane to sign it. He never knew it was a fake. Wilf is brilliant at what he does. So what was Medofsky's role in all this? It was all his idea. He'd had an offer on La Melodixie or from someone. So Wilf put Medofsky in touch with me and Henri. He wanted to cash in on both the sale and the insurance. He set up the security company to deal with the robbery. I've been such a fool. Henri was never supposed to die. I know you didn't mean for that to happen. Wilf called me yesterday trying to comfort me. He said he would take care of me, that he had plans. Does that mean he has the painting? Yes. He joked about a secret place. Something about the original being behind my behind. I didn't understand. Thanks, Bijou. You've been very helpful. You know, I had the strangest dream earlier. Henri was here, and we danced together again. Such bliss. That must have been wonderful. Anyway, thanks again for your time, and... <clears throat> Nico, I think it's time we went to London. Josh, do you have something you need to tell me? No. Can't think of anything right now. Well, let's go, shall we? <laughs>